Welcome to our STEAM Club! Today, we are going to talk about how we can break bad molecules. So, for that, we are going to do an experiment that the name is Milk Explosion. Okay? So, ready to start? Let's go to see the materials. Okay guys, the materials that we need for this experiment are a dish soap, a cobalt swabs, milk, it's necessary that the milk has to be um, whole milk, okay? Food coloring and plates. I have one small and one big and of course paper towels for our mess okay guys so let's gonna start first of all guys we're gonna pour a little bit but pour some dish soap in the small plate and then in the big plate we're gonna pour some Okay, so here we are going to pour in the milk. So we need to wait just a few seconds because we need to wait until the milk stops moving. So we have here our, sorry, our milk. Now that we need to wait, okay. Now, we're gonna add the food coloring in the milk. What do you think is going to happen, guys, if I add the food coloring in the milk? Do you think it's going to mix? I mean, if I add this red color here, the milk will be completely red, or the food coloring will be uh, in the place that I'm gonna uh, add. Or do you think that the food coloring is going to move in around? So we don't know. Let's see. Okay, we're going to add three drops of each food color. In this case, I have just four colors. But if you have more or if you have another uh, color, it's okay, guys. In this case, I have red, rojo. And I'm going to add three drops, okay? Uno, dos, tres. What do you think is going to happen, guys? It's happening. Nothing. The food coloring is there in the same place that I put it. Okay? So, it's there. I'm going to see with the green color. Verde. Uno, dos, tres. It's okay. Just we drop one more. And it's the same with the green color. It's still there. It's not moving around. It's not moving far. It's just there. In the same place. Uno, dos, tres. With the amarillo, uh, yellow food coloring. And let's gonna try our last color that is blue, azul. Uno, dos, tres. Three drops of each color. And they are there. They are not moving, they are just there. Okay? So, now what we're going to do. So we're gonna get one of our cotton swab and we're gonna add some dish soap in this cotton swab. Just, we're gonna touch the dish soap here, gentle. We move around, we move the cotton soap and you see we have oh, too much, the cotton soap with soap. This soap. So now we're gonna place this cotton soap in the middle of one of the food color, the, the color. What do you think is going to happen? If I put this cotton soap in the middle of the blue color, what happened with the blue color? Do you think the cotton soap is going to absorb the blue color and the blue color is going to disappear of the milk? Or do you think that if I put this cotton soap uh, in the middle of the blue color, the blue color is going to, I don't know, maybe mix 
with the green color or maybe with the red color or with the yellow one so we don't know so and that is the reason that we're doing this experiment so let's see what is the reaction okay so here I have my cotton swab with this soap and I'm going to touch gentle the blue color and let's see what is happening Whoa, guys, you see that? What happened? The blue color is moving away from my cotton swab. Now let's gonna try in the red color. Here, let's gonna touch gentle the red color and it happened the same. You see? The red color is moving far from my cotton swab. Now let's gonna try with the green color. I am using the same cotton swab. And you see, the reaction is the same. Now let's gonna try here with the yellow one, here in the middle, and it's the same. Okay guys, and we continue touching the colors. You see, it's, the colors are moving around and they are trying to move, they are moving far from our cotton soap. Now let's gonna change the side, let's gonna use the other side of the cotton soap and let's see, it's happening the same. So I have here, now I'm gonna do the same but in this case I'm not going to touch the milk gentle, I am just gonna put this cotton soap in the middle of the plate, okay? And let's see what is the reaction. What do you see, guys? Do you see that the colors are moving far from the cotton swab? No, right? It's not moving. Oh, but now it's moving. Okay. Now let's gonna try in the other side of the plate. Here. Is it still moving? Yes, it's still moving far. Now let's gonna try here. But you notice something different? Yes, we notice that the movement of the colors are slow um, in compare that when we begin this experiment. So here we try one more time. Do you see? It's a slower that um, before and that is happened with the dish soap now is is not moving fast you see guys the reaction so now when I use the paper towel to put our cotton soap here you are asking but why is Sandy what happened here so the ingredients that the material, sorry, that we used today was dish soap and whole milk, right? The whole milk has some uh, fat molecules and the dish soap helps to uh, dissolve or break that fat molecules. So that is happening here. When we use the the first time that we use the cotton soap with the dish soap and what that we touch the, the milk gentle, then um, the colors moving far from this cotton soap. But every time that we put more soap and more soap and more soap, dish soap in the milk, so the reaction uh, was slow. Why? because the dish soap dissolved the fat molecules from the milk. That is the reason. So guys, now I will let you try this experiment at home and see what happens. But when you finish with this experiment, how about if you try instead of the milk, you can try also what happens if you do this, the same experiment, but with oil with milk the first time you try with milk and the second time you can try with the oil and see what are the reactions okay guys 
So, I hope that you like this experiment today and see you the next time. Bye bye!